Last time on Apocalypto Magica. So we, d we, we, we decided to take our really, really long rest for about a month. We, we did some stuff outside of adventuring. I got a new sword. Uh, Respira found a new house for us. And uh, the dwarf just kind of drank in the corner there until he went into a pure stupor after we met him. So what happens next is Respira points out to Sullivan, my guy, we now have a, uh, we, she found an old little abandoned shack for us to live in. So I'm like, okay, sure. Give, uh, give the map to the, the ranger dwarf, who's also has, and to figure out where we gotta go, he rolls a one. Critical fail. Huzzah. Luckily, he can't get lost. But even then, we still had to fight a bunch of bandits, which the captain decided, hey, I'm gonna use all of you as target practice, and nearly eviscerated us with at least four to five critical hits. Nearly annihilated. And we managed to successfully fold him off with a surplus of stabby stabby magic missile. Eventually we got to our new Harvel where it was pretty nice. It's, it's dank, the windows are busted and all that good stuff. We, we fixed it up, cleaned it up the place a little bit, put some candles up there, and uh, took a little rest for the night. So next day, a, uh, a, a, a friendly neighborhood ogre decided to walk by the house about 200 feet out. And we, we were taking it out, looking at it, like, okay, yep, that's an ogre. And then the drunk dwarf decided, hey, I'm going to shoot at it. But why? And he hits, so the ogre starts running at us. They keep firing arrows, keeps hitting, keeps hitting, keeps hitting, keeps hitting. Finally, he gets about 60 meters out. I fire S Sullivan, the mage, the, the sorcerer, fire bolts him into oblivion. One shot, one dead. So now we, knew, we have new ogre skin curtains. And uh, we got a pile of dust in the corner of bones for reasons. Then we decide, okay, let's go adventure. We got to do something. We go back into town. We're gonna. We decide, okay, let's explore a little bit south of the town, about two miles out. We start going, but then Respira decides, hey, that's a house. I'm a rogue. I gotta steal something real fast. <laughs> she, she opens the door and peeks in, steals a lamp. But then the dwarf decides, hey. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go and steal that pouch. He fails a sneak roll. Yo, the old little wood elf lady comes comes slowly down the stairs like, "What are you doing in my house? Shut my couch, bitch!" <laughs> and 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 somehow he convinces her, the old lady that that the couch is actually possessed by demons and needs to be burned and destroyed. In response, the 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 old woman is like. Oh, Okay, that's why I heard voices when I sat down. Take it, take it, take it. So we got a free couch somehow. We started taking it back to our house because we, it, it was kind of a lie. There wasn't really anything possessed about it. We, on our way back, we get attacked by elementals, some weird fire worm and two dust elementals. We kill them. And then apparently it's midnight. The full moon comes out. Demons pop out of the couch. Who knew it was actually possessed? Never invoke the rage of a DM, everybody. We fight off the demons, luckily. The dwarf is knocked out, so we throw him on the couch, which surprisingly makes it lighter for us to carry. We have higher rolls on. We bring it back to our base. We put it down on in, in the house, so now we have a new, no longer demon-infused couch. And that's basically all we can that. tell. As far as we can tell, it's no longer possessed. That is it. <laughs> so, now you're here. It's morning. What do you do? I so this time, Rat. Repair the dagger. Gonna roll for that, buddy. Do you, do you have smith tools? I believe I do. I am a blacksmith. Okay. Do you have a forge? No. No. We're going to town, boyos. We need a forge. Zip, zoop, bobbity, boop. All right, boyos. Let's go to town. 